Righto, have a fucking go at this, would you? Right? I was talking to my mate last night, and he said early on in their relationship, he went round to the in-laws for fucking dinner one night, and they were having curried snags. Right? Great dish, fantastic. So the mother-in-law pulls out the fucking, you know, the old Coles 24-pack of fucking sausages, cuts it open, slams them on a plate, starts cutting them up, right? And right at the end, once she's finished, there's one fucking sausage left over. My mate goes, thinking, fucking, you know, you'd just chuck it in, wouldn't you? But no. Fucking the father-in-law waltzes on in, straight up to the plate, picks up the fucking raw banger, straight down the fucking gullet. No sauce, no fucking mustard, fucking neat. A pigskin full of fucking raw lips and fucking arseholes, and he's just slam fucking dunked it. Get fucked and get this, me mate likes it too, he's fucking tried it since. Reckons he cannot do a fucking barbecue without slamming down a dirty old raw snag first. Fuck me! Okay, so, bit of a story that happened today. A uh, little bit of an intro on this one, so I've got to set the scene, so fucking bear with me, right? So I've just been out playing golf with the boys. I've just fucking teed off. I've just bomb drawed one. I'm talking fucking pipe town. Straight down the fucking middle of the 8th fucking fairway, right? And I'm fucking peacocking on the way down, right? So chest is fucking out, right? I get a text message from the missus. Now, don't usually read text messages when I'm playing golf, but I did today. The text message reads, Can you please watch your language around the kids? Your son, he's always my son when he's done something wrong, has just told Everest, one of the poor patrollers, because he loves poor patrol, he's just told Everest to stop fucking around. And I want to know, why is she fucking coming at me about this? This is something she's got to take up with fucking Everest. If Everest is fucking round, why isn't she taking this issue up with her? What's it got to do with me? I'm strolling around pipe town on the fucking eight, happy with what I'm doing, and I'm copping this. What are your fucking thoughts? It's not my fucking fault. If she's fucking round, she should be told. Fuck me. So... Fucking, right, my background, a lot of people don't know this, my background is, is working in mining. I used to fly from, from Tassie through to Western Australia and back on a two weeks on, one week off basis, right? So I had a lot of fucking flights, right? I used to fly a lot. So, But when I was flying home, me and a mate, we, used to, we were straight into the fucking Harry Brudinis, right? So fucking order a drink, abracadabra, fucking that disappears. Anyway, I thought one day I was on a Virgin flight because the Qantas flight got cancelled. And um, I, I ordered a bourbon and coke this one day, and the and the air hostess said we don't do fucking coke. We you've got to have Pepsi. And I said, well, I don't know. Is fucking Monopoly money all right? And then there was just this fucking dead silence, dead air between us. And she did not find it even remotely fucking humorous. But that's fucking comedy genius, surely. Surely you gotta get at least a fucking smile out of her. Fuck me.